All right, welcome back to cringeworthy 30-year-old creepy man-boy simulator 2016. Uh, if you were here with me last time, everybody, um, we were playing The Bunker, still are. And this is one of those games that's made up entirely of footage that was recorded ahead of time of this actor in a physical, like, studio bunker. And basically, we were born in this bunker during a nuclear holocaust in Britain. And we're just trying to stay alive, hoping that people will come and we could have eventually have a creepy life with people. So far, we've been a complete wuss and a complete creeper. And we poop where we eat and we wank where we eat and poop. It's a great, it's a great time. It's a great life. So, something fucked up with the computer server that does diagnostics on the facility. And... We need to figure out what happened and, like, repair it. Because the only thing we really have to survive off of in this game is a routine. The routine is love. The routine is life. And this whole place used to be a bustling center of human activity. You know, before everyone died. It was exciting. Ooh, there's a glowing lamp pointing right at a tape recorder. What does it say? Huh, so are we... is that like our mother on there, or is our mother Sarah, and John was our father? I think that's what that's alluding to. Okay, you can stop now. Alright, so now we've got some flavor going on. We're starting to learn about some of the other people that used to exist before they all died. Oh sweet, it's, a cool, it's an old Commodore. Apparently these used to have some pretty slick shit games at one point. Um, regional reports. Beds, um, 4.1. Last contact, 17th October 92. Census unknown, supplies low, fighting. Um, CMSR Rowland's dead. O o Oxon RGF 4.6. Last contact, 19th July 89. Census, 48. Text note, goodbyes, generator fuel, very low. Oh, so this is like all the other bunkers slowly dying of air failure, radiation breaches, lack of food. And I'm sure this just says everyone died, deceased, Vera Taylor, cause of death unknown, un autopsy inconclusive. Um, date 24, Hurley, Carol, Elizabeth dead. Age 32, cause of death, acute gastrointestinal gastrointestinal failure. So her gummy works fucked up. That's... Okay. Miscellaneous. Things I miss. Eggs and chips, having a bath, my bed, warm sun on my neck, grass, chocolate, and Natalie. I've been wanking into a pillow for three years, and uh, it's just not the same as Natalie's sweet paps. Things I hate. Sardines, the bunker smell, and level 5. What is on level 5? I, Larry is suddenly curious about. As he hopes it's probably a bunch of zombies and corpses. from Bunker HQ, Site 3. Caution, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in, Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you can send this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with... Living. Huh, so it looks like this Prime Minister had a pretty sweet, uh, gig in whatever bunker he was in. 
cool. I guess the only place we can really go is the end of this hallway. I'm gonna go absolutely nuts if I keep looking at this guy and his face from, like, a downward angle so I get to see his neck meat all the time. It is literally going to be a thrill minute. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Bunch of doors, what's this thing? Radiation warning map. Looks like everything is fine. Let's see, level 5 is the cooling system and the sewage, that's probably the stinky place. Level 4 is air filtration, level 3 is the war room. Probably he doesn't like level 3 because the scary military guy that, like, probably wishes he was dead is down there. Um, the main office is in level 2. Level 1 is room 1, room 2, storeroom, sick bay. Okay, so level 1 is just where, you know, living quarter shit is. And then what's this other hallway? It's a stairwell. Okay. Well, that shit's r riveting. What's in this room? Commissioner's room and mystery door that I can't read. Oh, it's like a classroom. Or a meeting room? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know why you need a classroom in a building with only one, like, living person that's a child. Whoa! With the greatest respect, sir. We've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them. Right away. Whoa, 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 what's happening? Find out where they were working, what they've had contact with, and what they've been eating. We need a source. Margaret. It's all right, come here, love. So I guess Margaret's our mother, so we're not Imagine that Sarah person. Sleep. It's all right. You know if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. Alright, well, that's odd. I guess I would be annoyed if there's just a random kid waking up all the time in a business type of bunker place. What's in here? Is this bacon? There's nothing I need here. Oh, what's that NBC suit? Is that like a radiation suit? Could be. I guess these are all the security monitors, but we don't have access to those. I'm guessing something's gonna get, like, inside here, and, like, all the monitors and shit are gonna turn on. Alright, oh, this is Hurley. So Hurley was the asshole m military guy. Worrying brown residue around bulkhead seals. Um, B7.1, 7.4, and 7.12. Don't know what to do about this one. Rubber compound shouldn't be perishing yet. Indicates corrosion from something it's in contact with. Unless the cowboys use cottage cheese instead of VX compound, which, given how the rest of this place is built, wouldn't be unlikely. Response by C. Bishop. Nothing we can do. No replacement seals. Deal with the champ. Alright, so what does this say? Hurley. Rear bulkhead beam next to the recycling unit in A15 showed stress fracturing through paint surface. Two rivets loose, welded, but looks like, um, similar regressing in roof beams. Two and three along the adjacent wall. PJ says not major structural issue. But if it flexes anymore, it might spring a, a seal loose and we could be in rad trouble. <laughs> and, okay, so, basically shit's been degrading over the years. Noted. Oh, there's a little note here. Oh, so this is like the updated roster as people are dying to change people's roles to their assignments. Okay, that's grim. I guess we better make our announcement over the PA that we're about to turn the power Attention. off. The mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. Do you really need to do that step? You anal little shit? Like, honestly. 
No one lives here except you and your mother's corpse, which you should put in the sewage room or something. I don't like it here. Yes, I'm sure you don't like the cold, scary room. You fucking pussy. Jesus. I don't know, I just... It's kind of like, this dude's very cringy. And this was the same thing that happened when I played the Puzzle of Flesh game. It's just like... It never really felt like I ever made a real connection with the character. Only open one drawer at a time. Okay, why is that? Will the thing fall over? Oh, there's a bunch of old equipment in here. Oh, that is one shitty sound. Glad they spent time capturing that. Oh, there's like old dilapidated records that have been like falling apart. So they do have the Doobie Brothers. Excellent. That's what I was really worried about in the post-apocalypse. Not the fact that the main character is trying to bum his mom's corpse, but the Doobie Brothers being around. Alright, I guess we pop this open. Whoa, why are we in a black room all of a sudden? What the hell? Okay. I guess we found the replacement fuse. What was that noise that just kind of sprang up for half a second there? Alright, well, before you try to take the fuse out, I would imagine you have to turn the power off. That's the damaged one. Is it? How do you know? It looks the exact same as the other two, except, like, this is a little fuzzy here. But that could have been, like, degraded from just existing in a box. Okay, well, we need to turn the power off. I think that's this switch. Dun, 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 dun. It's not really that scary, everyone relax. I gotta hope you can fix that before everything goes to hell. damaged fuse. Oh, at least it's got its own little handy holder, so you don't have to worry about, like, electrocuting yourself. Which means power back on. Alright. This is... just the most exciting shit. Hey, at least I get to interact! That means it's not a movie, you guys. It's just a really shitty interactive storybook so far. I don't even get to look at, like, weird 1980s porn. All right, well, I guess we get to go back upstairs. He's probably just gonna hustle up those stairs and piss himself. Guarantee it. You gonna pee yourself? Is that is that a thing you're gonna do? That doesn't sound good. I mean, it was a thump. Who gives a shit? Go up the stairs. Don't be weird about it. Like, seriously, people always freak out about these little thumps and bumps in the night. What, you know, in my house, it's my cats making noise. Like, I would never assume that's like a demon or a monster. Oh, uh, oh, uh, we got a freeze frame. Replace fuse, perform systems check. All right, let's do the systems check then. Huzzah. You know, as an actor for this, it must be really uncomfortable to have to hold a, like, a posture for they have the idle animation. Bet you get a really stiff neck. Oh no. Oh shit, the air filtration system's fucked. No. Radiation detected, NBC suit required. Oh, so that was a radiation suit that I, that wasn't in that closet. I need an NBC suit before I can go to level four. Well, do you have one in your locker? I don't have an NBC suit. How good of you not to have a critical life-saving suit? Your mother was shit at taking care of you. I need to find an NBC suit. Does mommy have an NBC suit? Are you gonna have to strip the corpse? Cause that's gonna be really gross. Oh. 
wonder how these old shitty computers like detected radiation. Was there just like a, a diode that just said, yep, radiation, you got it, champ. I'm, I'm scared. All right, there's no suit in here. Maybe there's one in that classroom downstairs. There was like a limited number of like doors that I could go to. So I can't imagine it's going to be hard to scavenge around for the most critical piece of equipment in the facility. You'd think I'd be able to go into the infirmary upstairs and like go mess with that. Are you done staring at the like the, the other stairs, bro? You can just quit. There's nothing in the fucking facility. There's just the demons. God, can I just not stare at you all the time? At least they plucked your nose hairs. I guess I can be thankful for that. But you could, if all hell breaks loose, you could glide out of the country on your giant ear holes. So I know this room doesn't have an NBC suit. What's in this room? You'd think the commissioner would have like 17 of the damn things. I guess let's go read the book. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident- Oh, so there's like a breakdown in authority because the Commissioner Gordon dude's an asshole. Got it. Is this the thing I can get into? No, it's not. Is there going to be magically a, a suit in the Commissioner's office? Because this- I like it here. Ooh, there's a briefcase. Can I get into that? Hello, what's this? No one likes this one. So these are like shitty collectibles with hot glue holding them together. I see. The NBC suit is gone. And where do you suppose it would have been? You've been alone in this bunker with your mother for 30 fucking years. You didn't look around? My god, what did you do all day? You have two books. Was it? It wasn't in one of these, was it? No, it couldn't have been. There, I didn't see any clothing in any of them. So there's not like a little side compartment we didn't see. Okay, I guess that's cool. Do we go down a level? Or was there like a button I missed when we were upstairs? This this game is really really janky. I will say it is amazingly janky. It's the demons, kid. Just fucking don't be a puss. Go downstairs. Find that NBC suit. Really? Red? Red? You- Like, in 30 years, you have got to have been wandering around every inch of this goddamn facility. For real, you know this place is by the back of your hand. You'd be bored out of your shitless mind. Like, you'd be wanking off in the generator room when mom's up reading a book. Like, I guarantee at least one of the residents has a dirty magazine somewhere that you found, and we're just like, oh god, titties, oh my god. Air conditioning mode, something. This is overly dramatic for seemingly no reason. Level three, I'm so sinister, I have my own loading screen. I mean, it just seems unfortunate. This seems like a well put together game, but they just like didn't put in the very critical component of a likable character. Am I the only one that doesn't like this kid? Come on. Jeez. 
Oh, there's another figurine on the floor. Okay, this is the soldier Rocky that's just been left in this room. So I'm guessing all of these blocks represent like radi- like bunkers for certain people. Today, you're going to be the bunny, or I'm going to bomb your home. So out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? Oh, is this where shit's going south? No hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... I can't shake the feeling that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. You don't have time for your facts. Oh shit, is the mother poisoning we people? figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from, or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this, do you understand me? Oh shit, 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 shit. What's that? Cooling system. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bishop. I'm, I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts. So, like, somebody was poisoning the other members of the staff, and I want to say it was probably his mother. Like, poisoning people to keep Hair son alive by giving him all the food. Bunch of dead people. West of Northold, 4,000 dead. Heathrow Airport, London, comms dead, dead, dead. Everyone's dead. Oh boy. But there's like lots of places that in like the UK that would probably wouldn't bother nuking because they'd need bombs for other enemies. Like. You could probably find an okay radiation area to evacuate. What we don't know for certain is the contamination levels. We can calculate the likely fallout and its effects, but we don't have any good model for anthrax spore spread, or even how it's affected. Anthrax! Oh shit! Look, we do know from reports at AE3 in Oxford that anthrax was used in Wave 3. We've just got no idea of the extent of it. It's not as if we can go up and test anything. We can't even count the bodies. Ooh, that's grisly. Hey, what's over here? Hey, there's, there's a door that doesn't say emergency on it. This is kind of a neat room though, I, I guess. I mean, I don't know where war rooms at the time, so you know. Wait, what was that memory? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the grammar phone and the Sousa phone. Why did someone just axe down a door? Are we getting to like the nitty gritty of this game finally? Possibly. I don't know. It's a fucking weird one though. I can say that. Hey, guess what? We're gonna pause it right here and we're gonna catch you guys and gals next time. So again, let me know what you think about this game. It's, it's a weird one. It sure is. I'm not sure how much I like it or not. Like, it's kind of a fuck around game for 20 bucks. Eh, I'm gonna vote, like, don't buy this, but I guess we'll see where it goes. Maybe it'll redeem itself. I don't know. So until then, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think about this game so far. Let me know what you think about the character, especially. And I'll catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.